Joel, those thieves are stealing equipment we paid for as taxpayers. It's equipment that actually saves lives. Yeah, Keith, I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to figure out that these fire engines have tens of thousands of dollars worth of equipment on board. This is equipment that firefighters need. This is equipment you need if they're coming to save your bacon, and it's not a problem just confined to one department. At fire departments across our area, a major problem unreported until now. I mean, this is critical life-saving equipment. Oh, yes, sir. The life-saving tools that pry us out of nasty car wrecks. And this is essentially the jaws of life right here. And help gain entry into burning buildings. The K-12, we used this all to break through the door. Is being ripped off by thieves at an alarming rate. It's disheartening. Broad daylight just a few weeks ago, right in front of Ponderosa's main fire station in North Harris County. Thousands of dollars of equipment instantly gone. A few weeks earlier, same deal, different suspect vehicle, this time in the parking lot of a fast food joint on 1960. Since January 2022, no less than 11 theft incidents spread across at least four different fire departments involving fire trucks and ambulances. A $12,000 battery operated Jaws of Life was recently recovered in a stolen vehicle, but nobody has been arrested or charged yet in any of these crimes. It's a different and deteriorating environment for our public servants right now. At least six to 10 shooting stabbings a week. And we used to go to six to 10 stabbings every six months. <laughs> so it's really out of control. Our, our firefighters now wear ballistic helmets and vests to certain, certain responses. If you have any information about any of these crimes, and there's 11 to choose from, call Crime Stoppers of Houston. We're live on the north side of Harris County. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. Wow.